take you to better place. It'll take creation, imagination. Try to draw outside the line. Let us see inside your mind. You'll find inspiration. Hi everyone, it's Vicky here from Crafty Home, and thank you very much for joining me today. And today I'm going to be showing you how I made this waterfall card photo album. And this is not my original idea. I got this idea from May May Made It Crafts here on YouTube. I'll link her video um, in the description bar so you can go and check her tutorial out. And when I saw this, I thought this um, was a brilliant idea and I wanted to make one. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. So the paper that we are using is called... Christmas Around the World Designer Series paper and it's absolutely gorgeous and this is 12 by 12 and you get 12 sheets, two of each design and they're double sided and as you can see they are so pretty, love it. So that's the paper that we'll be using for the album today. So it is a card because it's got a card base, okay. So I've just decorated the front and I've left it quite simple and um, you just open it up as if you would do a card. You could also add another photo here and it has this tab here that you just pull and I'm going to have to do it sideways. You just pull it like that um, and then you could add some photos here, do some journaling here and just pull that back up and... Yeah, I just thought it was really um, a good idea. So that is that. So if you want to know how to make it, then let's get cracking on. So to make this project, there is quite a lot of measurements, um, but I'll have them all on my blog so you can go and check them out on there. Okay, so just relax and enjoy the video. So I'm using craft card stock today. The one I have is not a stamping up, but it is very thin. Um, but as you can see, the um, photo album gets a lot thicker once you add some card stock and paper. Okay, so for the card base, you're going to need a piece that measures 10 and a half by five and a half inches. Then for the pull tab, you're going to need a piece that measures nine and three quarters by three. For the photo mats um, that actually stick onto the pull tab, okay, you'll need one piece that measures five inches by two and three quarters, one piece that measures five by three and a half, another piece that is five by four and a quarter, and another piece that's five by five inches. Then you're going to need an anchor piece or a belly band, whichever you prefer to call it. And this piece measures one and a half by 11 and three quarters. And I believe May May had made her length 12 inches, but I didn't have 12 inch cardstock. So I've just used what I had. Okay, so I just used this out of A4 cardstock. So one and a half by 11 and three quarters. So we're going to score the card base, okay, and along the ten and a half inch side, we're going to score it at five and a quarter, okay, and then you're just going to fold that in half to make a top folding card, okay, so that's the card base done. Then we're going to score the pull tab, so just let me grab that. And this piece measures nine and three quarters by three inches. And along the nine and three quarter inch side, we're going to score it at two inches, two and three quarters, three and a half, and four and a quarter. And these score lines are just a guide of where to stick our photo mats. Okay. So now we're going to score the belly band or the anchor piece, okay? Now I've bought, I've changed in my scoreboard to my trimmer because we need the sixteenths of an inch to score this piece, okay? So along the nine and three quarter inch side, we will score it at three inches, which is what I've already done here. 
and then uh, 9 and 16, which is the line, I don't, I'll just bring it up to show you, which is the line just after the 8.5 inch mark, okay? So, 9, 8 and 9 sixteenths of an inch and score. And that is all the scoring done for now. So now we're going to add our photo mats to our pull band, uh, pull tab, sorry. Um, and we're going to, I've just folded the score lines just so you can see them better, okay? And we're going to, I'm going to line this up on my grid mat, okay? And we're going to get the smallest piece first, which is the five inches by two and three quarters. And we're going to lay it on this section here, and we're just going to line it up just under that first score line, okay? And you want to make sure that you get your sides equal here. So this one is the most important. You need to get this right um, for the others to all fall in place, okay? So if you have the Stampin' Up! grid mat or you have any grid mat that has the squares, I worked out that it's about four squares each side to make them both equal, okay? And as you can see, I've just got it underneath that score line. Um, so you don't want it on the score line, just underneath. So what we're going to do is we're going to run a thin line of liquid glue just underneath this score line here. Okay, so we're going to do that first. So I've added my glue and then I'm going to line this up. Okay, remember just put it underneath that score line and then make sure the sides are both equal and then press that down. Okay, then you're going to get your second piece that measures five inches by three and a half. And again, you're going to line it up just underneath that score line, and then you'll line your sides up with these sides here, okay? So then you just line it up, and then it all should line up with the sides and the bottom. So we're going to add adhesive on all this section here. Okay, and stick that down again just underneath that score line then make sure your sides and your bottom are all lined up and press that down okay and then you're going to continue doing that with these two pieces that measure five and a quarter um five by four and a quarter and five by five okay so the next one you'll lay down is the five inch by four and a quarter which will go here and then the last one that's five by five will go here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so that's all of them now added. Okay, and this piece here needs to go down the back where you've got this stagger of card, you know, your card stock. So that just folds back on itself and then that will be your tab to pull here. So before we go any further, we need to round the corners on this tab and I'm going to use my corner chomper and I'm using my half an inch pull tab, okay? So now we're going to bring in our card base and we, you'll see here that when you place this in here, you need to make sure that the edge of your waterfall lines up with the bottom edge of your card and then you make sure that it's equal all the way around, okay? So, first of all, we're going to add the belly band, okay? And so we've made those score marks and we're just going to fold them, okay? And these are just a guideline where to wrap around your card. So they don't have, the score marks don't have to be perfect, so don't worry about that, okay? It's just a guideline for where your card is going to fold. So it'll wrap around the back of your card like so, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to lay this in our card base. And again, like I said, make sure 
that the bottom is all lined up and then you've got equal sides um, okay all the way around then you're going to put your finger on this tab and you're going to lift this up like so and then you're going to wrap your belly band around like this now you don't want to attach the belly band to the pull tab because otherwise the pull tab won't work okay so you just need to attach the belly band um, to each other okay so we're going to add some glue here and you want to make sure that you don't put too much on that it's going to seep out and then attach to your um, pull tab so just join those two together and then press that down okay and then this will just slide up and down okay and we're going to position this well this this bit's got to be a bit more tricky to explain but you see this flap here this one here this needs to attach to this so again we're just going to line it all up okay and i'm gonna this is going to be quite difficult to show you so i'm just going to open it slightly and can you see this tab that i just showed you you need to move that belly band down enough for it to be able to we're going to stick that piece that we'd said to the belly band um okay so it doesn't have to the edge of the belly band and the edge of this tab you know this section here do not need to meet as long as the belly band is touching this section here then you're fine you just glue those two together so again i'm just going to make sure that i've got all that lined up before i add my glue and now i add the glue on this section here hopefully i'm making uh, sense for you Okay. Again, don't add too much on that it's going to seep out and attach to that pull tab because obviously then it won't work. Fold that over and adjust it if you need to. Just need to move it over slightly and then press that down. Okay, and then we can just open it slightly. I don't want to pull it too much because um, I don't want it to come apart. So, can you see that those two are attached now? What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some glue to this section here. And then this last, this first photo mat is going to permanently attach there. So then that way this waterfall is not going to come out, okay? So we're going to add some glue here. You just want to add it to this section. Don't add it to, you know, your photo mat. Because then it won't. Because if you add it here, obviously it's got to attach here and you don't want that. So then press that down again. Okay. And then you'll just pull the tab. And it works beautifully okay <clears throat> now to stop the uh, belly band moving about we need to flip it to the back and add some glue underneath here so make sure you add plenty of glue remember make sure it doesn't seep out not that it really matters on this section because it's going to get covered up anyway but I don't like this glue seeping out much so okay so then that is your waterfall section permanently fixed there we go how cool is that so now we're going to start decorating our card photo album so first of all we're going to mat the front the back and the inside cover of our album 
So we're, I'm using garden green cardstock and you're going to need three pieces that measures five and three eighths by five and one eighths and then three pieces of the patterned paper that measures five and a quarter by five inches. Okay, and we're going to mat and layer these together. And I've just decided which one I want on the front of my album. So I think I'm going to go for this stripy one. So for the attaching these, you know, my paper to my cardstock, I'm just using my fast fuse. So I'll do one with you and then I'll pause the video and then I'll come back after I've done the rest. So just add your fast fuse or any adhesive that you prefer. Okay, and layer these together, like so, and then this will go on the front of my album. Oops. Okay, and set down and then you're going to do exactly the same to these and you're going to add one on the inside and on the um, back okay so that's my paper added to my covers so now we're going to decorate the pull tab so you want to pull the tab out and you're going to need two pieces okay one that measures five and a quarter by two and three quarters and one that's five and three quarters by two and three quarters. Now, May May only decorated one side, but I wanted to decorate both sides. Okay, so for this one, I've gone for the opposite side of what's on my front cover, and it's going to go there. But first, I want to round the corners. So I'm going to round them. Okay, and then on this one, we're going to do it. Actually, I'm going to do the opposite side on the on the back because I don't want it to clash with the back of my cover, like so. So, first of all, we're going to add the larger piece to the front of our pull tab. Okay, and it just slides in and then line it up on the bottom and press that down. Turn it over, again add the adhesive to this one. Now this one is slightly smaller in length because otherwise when you fold, let me show you, pull this back up, when you add your paper, okay, to um, the opposite side of the tab, the five and, uh, where have I just put the, uh, the uh, measurements for this. The five and three quarter inch one, which is the measurement for this side here, the five and three quarters got to overhang here, okay? So you need to make it just slightly smaller so then it's not going to come past this section here. So again, pull that out and stick that in and line that up like so okay so pull that up and there we go you can see that that paper is not come past here so now we're going to mat and layer the uh, the sections here so again i'm using garden green to mat them and you're going to need one piece that measures they're all four and three quarters in length okay so in the height, you need one that's two and a half by four and three quarters, three and a quarter by four and three quarters, four inches by four and three quarters, and then four and three quarters by four and three quarters. For the paper, now this is option, optional if you want to add your paper. Some people prefer not to add the paper because the majority of the time it gets covered up with the uh, photos. So this is optional. Again, these uh, all measure four and a half in length. 
So the height of them is two and a quarter by four and a half, three by four and a half, three and three quarters by four and a half, and four and a half by four and a half. So we're going to start with the smallest, and I will do that one with you, and then obviously you can uh, let, carry on doing the rest off the camera. So again, I'm just using my fast fuse, which doesn't want to play today. Okay, and map these together. This has got a slightly bigger border than um, my, you know, the covers. So then again, I'll pull this open. I'm going to attach that there. You could also add some paper there or some wispel white cardstock to do some journaling on, but I'm not entirely sure what I want to do there. So I'm going to add my photos first and then see. So I'm going to add that. Okay. And then you just got to continue doing these ones as well. Okay. So I've added the rest of the paper. Cute, hey? Love it. Okay. So along the bottom here, I'm just going to write with my black stamping right marker um pull i'm just going to write pull okay so i'm just going to write it here the other one i did put pull me but um i'm just going to write pull so there we go can you see okay so now I don't want to decorate anything, you know, add anything inside there because I want to add my photos first. But I will decorate the front and I'm using these cutouts that you get in the um, paper pack and you get the different Christmas sentiments all in the different languages. So I've cut out this one that says Happy Christmas and I've cut out the, uh, the rest of the cards with my squares, uh, stitch shapes, frame its dies. Okay, and we're just going to lay these together. Now, I am going to keep the front of my album flat um, because I don't want them to, you know, catch it if they want to put it in a keep it in a drawer or whatever. So I'm just going to keep it quite flat on the front. So lay them together. I'm going to have this on the front in the centre, at the top around there. And then I've cut out this little soldier toy out of that pack. And I'm going to add him on the front in the bottom right hand corner. I may add another one here, I'm not sure yet, um, but I'm just going to add the one for now. And actually, I'm going to have him stood up properly, I think. And then finally, I'm just going to add some um, pearls here. So I've got the basic pearl basic jewels. And I'm just going to add um, a couple in the centre of these flowers here. Like so. And there we go. A lovely Christmas card that has photos inside. And how cool is that? Absolutely love it. So there's that one. And then there is the one that I made before. So please head over to my blog for more details of this project where I'll have all the measurements on there. And I'll also leave the link for that and my Stampin' Up! online store below if you want to go and check that out as well. So thank you very much for joining me today and thank you Mei Mei for your great tutor tutorials. And uh, I'll see you soon. Hey, if you want to play, make it about a